The world became very confused following the publication of a study by Griffin and Lichtenstein at Tufts University. Um, they reviewed 12 studies, but they, they took no studies prior to 2003. And their conclusion was that the effect on plasma lipid concentrations is modest, and it appears to be limited to only certain population subgroups. Alice Lichtenstein was then appointed to the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee and was on the subcommittee that decided to say that, that cholesterol in the diet doesn't affect blood cholesterol. Um, and so the world decided, great, uh, we should be eating eggs again, stuff as many down our mouths as we possibly can. And, and while we're at it, there's other things that I think we really should be exonerated. Um, so I want to go into the weeds a little bit with the Griffin and Lichtenstein paper. Here were the 12 studies. Here are the funding groups for the studies. Uh, 10 of the 12 were the egg industry. Um, and I have a couple of details, but I've put a U by every study where the effect on, of dietary cholesterol on blood cholesterol was unfavorable, meaning it went up. And I put an F by every study where it was favorable, whether it was statistically significant or not. But you could see a really clear trend that, that uh, dietary cholesterol affects blood cholesterol. Um, and so the bottom line is, you can make the effect disappear if you are the egg industry and you fund a study in which you bring people in who are already eating a large amount of dietary cholesterol, you bring in a small group of people so that you don't have statistically significant results and you can declare uh, null results. So we had quite a wrestling match with the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee a couple of years ago. And to their credit, um, the USDA and HHS came out basically on our side saying, okay, um, you really should eat as little cholesterol as possible.